and back. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I've wanted to do for a long time, to silence John in the best known ways. <laughs> This is Kimberly Benson. Morning, Kimberly. Morning. No, Morning Kimberly, Kimberly is a professional here. Uh, yeah, professional wrestler, but she also uh, answers the phones at a family sports oh, hire business by day. Kimberly, what are you doing to him? This is a three quarter Bolton. Right, three quarter. And what, can he ever be released? Has he got a way out? Any advice for him for getting out of it? If he behaves. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Now, Kimberly, there's a reason you're here doing this because, Certainly. yeah, in your spare time, tell us who you are. Um, in my spare time, I am Viper. I'm a professional wrestler. Yeah, excellent. Do you want to let go of him? He's starting to go blue. Okay. <laughs> Don't try this at home, by the way. Brilliant. And that's a, a documentary that Kimberly is in. Kimberly, thank you so much for joining us. Can I just check, John? You're all right, aren't you? You weren't really seriously hurt then. <laughs> Stunned to silence. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> She's got nothing on me. Uh, you are strong, though. You thank are you. very, very strong. When did you realise you were so strong? Um, growing up, I was always like a bigger, more athletic, tomboy kind of girl. So I always knew it was a bit different. Um, I didn't like it, to be honest. It was something that I tried to hide and dress up for a while, but I always knew that, I, like, when I was younger, I couldn't, like, find a way to, like, I always wanted to be these petite, little, small girls, and I just knew that wasn't for me, but it took me to find something like wrestling to then think, oh, well, maybe all these things that have made you different aren't a bad thing. Um, and wrestling helped me, like, develop all the little individual things and all the things that made me unique. How did you find wrestling then? What, what? Um, um, I've discovered it. I was off sick from school one day and I, it was back before there was even Sky Television or anything like that. It was cable TV and I just came across it by, by chance, flicking through channels and some poor soul was getting absolute murder thrown into the ground. I thought, oh, what is this? And it just totally captivated me. Like, I was so drawn into the showmanship and the theatrics. I mean, when you're not doing this, the, mm. the wrestling, what, what's day-to-day -day life like? Um, I try to help out my family business as much as I can. Like, if it wasn't for my mum and dad support me doing this, I wouldn't have been able to. So literally anything I can do to help them out and repay them, which gets a bit difficult. You know, it's more leading a double life more than a triple life now. Yeah. <laughs> and where do, you, where do you do the practicing and everything? Is it, I mean, is it quite big where you are? Um, luckily, in my area, I've got a really good school, um, Glasgow Pro Wrestling Asylum. So I go there to train and kind of like tidy some things up and then obviously train in a gym as well. You have to focus on so many different areas. It's like you have to be able to work in your body, but in-ring fitness as well. And, flexibility in lots of other areas. So you used the word earlier, theatrics and, yeah. and, and, and show. I mean, I think a lot of people watch wrestling say, is it real? Is it, is it a real sport or is it, is it just for show? I think the best way to describe it is like a live action soap opera. You know, no, there no. is the drama and the theatrics, but you know, they're still getting hit really hard. It is very, very dangerous. Have you been hurt before? Luckily, I've never sustained any really serious injuries, but I have had countless black eyes, burst noses, I have constant scar tissue under my lip from my lip being burst, you know, general aches and pains, like I sound like a 60 year old woman when yeah. I get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, like, it's weird, it's a, it's a pain that I've earned, so I'm quite happy to, to suffer for yeah. my art. And you've got some fantastic belts because of it, haven't you? <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in to talk to thank us about it. Good luck with the, the rest of your career thank in you. wrestling. Look, Fab to me. The, ex the aches and pains, I'm, I'm getting you there. I'm getting you there. <laughs> Stop moaning. Uh, you can watch Kimberly or Viper in Fight Like a Girl on BBC One next Monday, half past seven. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it from us today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, won't we? Yeah, neck permitting. Yeah. Uh, now on BBC One, it's time for...